Okay, I've got a Vidal Sassoon uh, 1500 watt blow dryer. Now I blow my, my hair dry with this every morning and I time myself for the first time. It takes me a couple of minutes to uh, get my hair, you know, pretty dry. I've got long hair, but it's very, very thin. So I'm sure it would take someone else maybe three or four minutes with a little bit thicker hair. But I um, just want to show you what type of water you get out of here. <clears throat> so plugging this in and I have to turn that on. I'm sitting at 100%. It's only got two settings, a low, a low and a high. So on low, we're gonna see how many watts I pull out. About 352 watts. I'm gonna move my blow dryer so you can hear. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. And as soon as I start up my blow dryer, the fan, the cooling fan on the Yeti 1000 turns on. I guess because it's pulling out almost 400 watts of power. I'm going to change it to the high setting. Here I'm pulling about 1380 in watts. But you have to remember that I'm only using it for two minutes. So in the big scheme of things, this right here, the battery level shouldn't change very much. Now I've already ran this test a couple of times before this. So I probably have about a good three or four minutes of uh, that I've already used. So if I were to run this for a couple of minutes, I don't think it's gonna hurt or take too much power out of my battery that I couldn't recoup during the day when I put my solar panels on it. So okay, so that's this, um, that's what this 1500 watt uh, blow dryer pulls. Now, I've also got a little blow dryer that I travel with. Let me pull back a little bit. And it's a little Samsonite. I don't even know they still make these, but if you can find them, look at that. It's not its not even as big as my hand. It's about a, a half of the size of my hand. I don't know if you can see that or not. But um, it's actually only 400 watts. The power I get from this at a low setting is good for a male, uh, some a, a guy, because you don't get that much power out of it. It's pulling 102 watts. Now, again, that's not, if you need to take five minutes with this thing, 500 watts. So, I'm going to turn it off and put it on its high setting. Now, this thing puts out a lot of heat. I just moved it. Uh, it puts out a whole lot of heat for 370 watts, which is equivalent to the low setting on the Vidal Sassoon. 15,000 watt blow dryer that I have. I don't know if you could hear that, but again, the um, the fan just came on on the Yeti 1000. But with this one, it takes me a couple of minutes to dry my hair as well on the low setting. Because the low setting on this one is a lot hotter than the high setting on that Vidal Sassoon. I guess you just have to check out your, um, your blow dryers. But again, this thing is still sitting at 100% and I've ran these things maybe for the past seven or eight minutes. So I don't think using a blow dryer in the morning is going to affect affect you in the long run if you use it every day. If you're able to back this up with solar, you know, to, to recoup everything that you've used during, uh, during the either early morning or whatever. But um, this thing is working really good. It's doing better than what I expected, especially with my blow dryer. So, um, again, I think running a blow dryer on this thing, as long as that's not more than 1500 watts, is quite doable. Again, remember I showed you how much time it takes with the Keurig, with my Keurig. The things I do in the morning is blow dry my hair and I make myself a cup of coffee. And I could run both of those and it not affect my battery life significantly or even to where you could even tell that it that you did anything um anyway that's it if you have any questions or want me to um try something else maybe a different brand or whatever just give me a holler here on my on the comments and i'll do the best i can to answer your questions and please subscribe